Hi there, everyone. I'm News Meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Hopefully you're having a great Wednesday so far. It's nice and bright out there, but boy, is it windy. And because it is so dry and that wind is so relentless, a red flag warning is in effect for the entire state. And as you can see, that extends through Massachusetts and Rhode Island as well. So on days like this, even if you do have a permit to burn outdoors, it is not allowed anytime the fire danger is high, very high or extreme. And we also have to watch out for any brush fires that may spark from just the little thing. Sometimes it's the simplest flick of a cigarette into dry mulch that can spark a fire. So you do want to be careful out there. It is going to be bright and windy right through this afternoon with highs in the low to mid 60s. So for some of you, you may consider these 60s a little more comfortable than the 70s we've had for the past few days. And as we continue through the afternoon, not much going on other than the fact that it is going to stay rather windy. But overnight, not only will we have mainly clear skies, but the winds are going to back off. And with that combination, we are going to see temperatures plummet into the the upper 20s to mid 30s, which means widespread frost is likely across the state. So if you have any sensitive plants or flowers, make sure you cover them up or try and bring them in before you go to bed. But tomorrow, despite that frosty start, we'll have lots of sunshine, which will allow temperatures to rebound nicely through the afternoon. So tonight, clear and cold frost likely again, no matter where you are from the shoreline to inland areas. Tomorrow, a frosty start, but we'll have another bright and dry day with temperatures in the low to mid 60s. So yeah, that's a little cooler than average, but nothing we can't handle. Temperatures will be back to seasonal on Friday. We'll start with lots of sunshine on Friday, but you'll notice more clouds filling in through the afternoon. Now we have been tracking some rain for the upcoming weekend. Originally it looked like most of that rain would be on Sunday, but the timing keeps shifting up a little bit. So now it looks like we'll start off dry on Saturday, but rain will take over by midday into the afternoon. So now we are looking drier on Sunday and in fact heading into next week. It looks downright pleasant, so I hope you get out and enjoy it.